are getting ready to go to the Betty Ford Gardens. Heard it's a beautiful area to kind of hike around. And it's not too difficult so we can have the kids run around. We're not doing any cliffs or anything like that. So I uh, packed my day pack from Peter McKinnon and we're ready to go. Doesn't it really matter which direction you look. It's just, it's all beautiful. Just all of it. One, two, three. Over here, dude. So Kosis, thank you for the recommendation on this. And you did tell me in order to be the cool dad, you gotta push in the bottom brace here. I don't know if I can reach you. There we go. All right. Cool dad activated. Fun fact, we are from Grand Rapids, Michigan originally, which is the home of Driller Ford. And now here we are out of all places, Vail, Colorado, and we're in the Betty Ford Park. It's kind of cool. Say hi, buddy. Hi, Doug. trail is extremely just relaxing. It's got a nice, nice river, nice creek right here. Nice trail through the snow. Got my little buddy behind me here. And uh, yeah, it's just, it, it's very well maintained. And all I can really say is it, it's beautiful. We found this super cool playground. It's got these spiral stairs. <sighs> Elliot, hello. Joby ended up winning the largest icicle contest. I won. <laughs> I'm in the top fell off, but that's okay. I'm finding myself on this trip taking more and more pictures, kind of doing more and more photography. I'm really, really enjoying the process of editing photos. And when you have such a photogenic place to take photos of, it makes it really easy. <laughs> also, we had a bit of a mishap and we, we lost one lens on the, or it cracked, I should say, on the uh, 360 camera. So yeah, have to get a replacement lens for that. As I was kind of saying earlier, I, uh, I really have been enjoying photography lately. And Connor Ekdahl, he, I think that's how you say his na last name. I could be completely wrong. Connor, so sorry if I said it wrong. One thing I've never really attempted with photography is stars, like getting the streaks and, and kind of getting those cool, uh, cool nighttime shots of all the stars. The last few nights it's been cloudy. Tonight it's, it's pretty nice out. The moon is pretty bright, so hopefully it doesn't wash out the stars. But Connor sent me this whole thing about all these tips and how to do it, how to set your shutter speeds, all that kind of stuff. So I have the same gear he does. I'm gonna give it a shot out here and see if I can get some cool nighttime shots. Also, I'm trying to be quiet because Elliot, Maureen, they fell asleep <laughs> in the room next to me here. I got the vlog rendered. I just have to upload it right now. Then I'm gonna go try some photography shots. And then I have to make a presentation that I'm gonna give tomorrow morning. <laughs> so still a busy night ahead. Feeling pretty awake at the moment and just kinda just keep moving. That's all you can do is just keep going. Just keep moving.